Hello, the one pound gamer again today, and today's video is going to be a different type of video. So, if you have the Retro 5 console um, for your retro gaming, and you haven't updated the firmware since you've bought the console, and you want to get the 3 in 1 adapter that plays the Master System, Game Gear, and Master System uh, cards. You will need to update your firmware to at least 3.0. So, the way to do this is pretty simple. Most people don't do it because they think it's too complicated and they have streamlined the process since they first started to put out the updates from 2.1 upwards. So, all you need is I'll see if I can get this in shot. Um, so all you need is a micro SD card, like this one, can be any size, it doesn't have to be big, because the update isn't, um, see if we can get it in shot, isn't very large, it's just a couple of megabytes, a couple of hundred megabytes, and an adapter, like this one, to put into your computer. Unless your computer has a micro SD card slot, you won't need the adapter. So, you insert the adapter on micro SD card into the computer, it will recognise it. And what you will do, what you need to do is go to Google and type in Retron 5 update. So, as you can see, I've already done this. and you go to the hyperkin.com and I'll see if I can get this in shot for you. So what you will need to do, so it says unlike previous application updates, version 2.42 comes in the form of a complete system software update. The installation procedure is different so please be sure to carefully read through the following instructions. So if you're Console is lower than version 2.42, and you just have to update from. So, if your version 5 is already running system software 0.3.2, then you have the latest updates pre installed from the factory. Do not install any of the updates below. Which actually makes no sense. So, upgrade your version 5 to system software 0.3.2. Zero. Upgrade your written five system to software zero point three point one. So my software is up to three point zero. So all you do is go down and go to the download the system software update from here. So you click there, and then at the bottom, if I can show you that. All you need to do, go to save, and it will download. It will take about 20 to 30 seconds, depending on the internet speed. So, once that has downloaded and it's been scanned, and um, you open the folder, and it will take you to the Redstone 5. As you can see, I've already done the Retron 5 update. And so all you do is if I delete this, the old one. All you do is drag and drop to the memory card that you've inserted. So my memory card is on drive E. So you want to drag to drive E and then that will transfer over and then that will be in there now. So as you can see it's somewhere right there. So all you do is you come 
out of it and then out of the um, explore so go down to the bottom and you eject your, eject your device so it's safe to remove and you remove so now what you want to do you want to remove the card and insert it into a SD converter like this and then into there and then you put it into your Retron 5 ok so we're at the Retron 5 and while it's powered off if you look on the back you'll see a slot right here and then take the memory card and insert it into the back so now I have my controller plugged in so it's wired instead of wireless so I assume you all know how to do this and then I want to turn the TV on and then turn on the Retron 5 So, you want to go down to settings. Once the controller actually finds the console, even though it's wired, you want to go down to settings, press the plus button, and then all the way down to the bottom to system. all the way down and then my firmware update request to SD so it's done and then now as you can see my system software is 0 3.0 and you can get a 3.2 3.1 3.2 but for some reason I can't do that but 3.0 is the latest one you need to use that 3 in 1 adapter so that's done so once that's done what you will need to do is when you turn off the Retron 5 the Hyperkin controllers will not work it will not find the controllers at all no matter what one you use so there's a workaround with that um, use a any controller that you've got that will work with the console and you navigate down to um, so you find the controller setup if I can find that now manage retron 5 controllers right there and all you do is pair controller so if you've got more than one controller, you pair each one separately and then it will work. So all you need to do is just, once you've updated, you use an original controller and then you'll be able to use that controller to go down to the list and uh, find the uh, manage, uh, controller management and then pair controller. So once that's done, your controllers will work 
as they should. So I was on um, version two point one, I believe, and um, updated to three point zero because I want to get that data. So you will see some of the settings will have changed. So we've got some extra settings down here. Um, some new audio settings I believe and some new video settings. I can't remember which ones they are but that's all you need to do and uh, your settings, your software will be all up to date. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully, this um, video is helpful, and um, I'm hopefully going to do another Retro on Fire video next week. So, stay tuned for that, and um, have a good day.